Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from Radio One. Luke Putino, who joins me in this new segment I start today with him every Wednesdays. It's called Wellness Spot. Luke, so good to have you on the show. Annie, it's always a pleasure to be there on the show with you. Thank you for having me. You know, I want to go back a little to the beginning of your life, okay? Before getting into lifestyle diseases, I met you even before you, I think, professionally, kind of became an MD of lifestyle diseases. This is way before that we met, a good four to five years ago. Uh, yeah. So, why did you take up something like you know life sciences or nutrition or or general health people? What was it that kind of turned you in that direction? So Annie, I saw a gap. I was working for a corporate organization. I was with IBM. And I noticed that a lot of people at the VP level, CEO level, they, they were not keeping great health. You know, they had great positions traveling the world, but suffering with, you know, conditions, back pains, all of that. And I started noticing the same trend across different organizations. The higher you reach, your, your health problems seem to be getting more and more. So I thought about it. I said, there are fabulous doctors in Mumbai and across the country and across the world. There are nutritionists, there are gyms, there are trainers, there are supplements, there's yoga, there's everything. What's the gap? What are we missing? And it was lifestyle. No matter what we have, people's lifestyle wasn't right enough to promote great health or graceful aging or if you have a stressful job. How do you manage a stressful job? How do you build your body, feed your body, rest your body so that you can take on more stress? So I saw that gap and I said, lifestyle medicine is what I want to specialize in. And I took that up and uh, yep, here we are today with lifestyle medicine, patients across the world from cancer to Alzheimer's, to smaller problems like diabetes. It's lifestyle that is making a difference in people's life. Not to take away from medicine. Medicine plays a very important role. So does nutrition, your training, Ayurveda for the respect for people who do that, homeopathy, everything, whatever works for you, but your lifestyle has to be fantastic. And that's what we do. Look, what is this natural way of life you say if we adopt will change our life from your own? So it's not something I've discovered. I've probably rediscovered it. It's always existed. You see, uh, Annie, your body, my body, everyone around us, it's a gift of life. No matter what your religion is, your spiritual part, it's a gift of life, okay? It's way beyond what we think and how we treat our bodies. And we operate within certain laws of nature. We're products of nature. We thrive best within the biological parameters that define us, the way we eat, the way we sleep, the way we think, the way we move. This circadian way of living is what I want to talk about today. The circadian rhythm is something that every human has. From the time you're a little baby, you're born, there's a circadian rhythm. We're influenced by light and dark. That controls 100 plus functions in the human body, night and day. So when the sun rises, nature thrives. There are plants that thrive. There are plants that close as well. And likewise with night. And when night falls, plants change. They, the way they work, the way they facilitate, and so do human cells. It's just that human beings have, beings have become so busy that whether it's light or dark, night or day, we can switch on lights, we can go for a party, we can sleep during the day, and that's all good. But when we look at disease today, and I like to call it beyond medicine, we take medicine, we take nutrition, put it together. But what we're missing is, you know, let me give you this example. You can have the best baker in the world who's known to make the best bread. Okay, perfect. The dough is perfect, perfect bread. But this baker tells me that, Luke, I can have the perfect dough and I put it in the oven. If the environment of the oven, which means the temperature is, is even off by half a degree, the best dough in the world will not become good bread. Now, take a sick body or take a healthy body and put it in the wrong environment. Okay, we can't get better or we continue to suffer or we continue to get sicker. So while you have the best medicine, the best nutrition, you meditate, we have to put ourselves in the right environment. And that's within the laws of nature. So for example, when you look around, you'll never find day animals awake at night. You'll find night animals, nocturnal animals awake at night. You'll never find a dog say, okay, I'm going to be up on the road and stuff like example of a dog. Now, as human beings, we've kind of misaligned ourselves with the circadian rhythm. When we put ourselves within the circadian rhythm, 
everything in the body starts to work for us. Today, we're trying to make health work for us. We're health obsessed. We're trying to do more and more. No, we need to do the basics and put ourselves in the right environment, which means sleep at the right time, right quantity, maybe eat at the right time, exercise at the right time. Everything has, let me break it down, a circadian rhythm. It's a rhythm. Now picture this, you're listening to a band playing and the band is playing beautiful music. One, one member of the band makes a mistake. The rhythm is broken and now that music becomes noise. It's a break in the rhythm. We have rhythms in the human body all the time. Put your hand on your chest, your heart beats with a rhythm. Your pulse beats with a rhythm. Your breath is with a rhythm. When these rhythms are perfect, we're in the greatest health. When these rhythms are out of place, you know, we have disease setting in, high blood pressure, high blood sugar levels, low. We're out of homeostasis. You come back to homeostasis, the body is working in a rhythm. And that's the circadian rhythm I'm talking about. How do we live in that rhythm to the best of our ability? I'm not here to tell people don't enjoy your nights, you know, <laughs> but how can we fit best into the rhythm so that we can enhance our health? That's what the circadian rhythm is all about. Oh my God, rediscovering something that is as simple and basic. I love the way you akin it to, uh, you know, metaphorically speaking, to a music band. And music is the influence of our lives. Thank you so much for today. You have beautifully explained what the circadian rhythm is. And this is what we are all going to go after together. With the help, of course, of none other than the celebrated lifestyle disease expert, Luke Cotino, who's also an author and influencer. If you've got to follow him, well, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Luke Coutinho on every social media platform. It's L-U-K-E. Coutinho is C-O-U-T-I-N-H-O. Thank you so much for this today, Luke. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from Radio 1.